Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to try to turn a, a bowl out of this uh, this is spalted birch uh, that I had picked up. So we're going to try to turn a bowl. I'm not going to do a live edge bowl out of it. I'm just going to do just a regular bowl. But we'll see. We might change our mind as we get going. But anyway, we'll uh, get it mounted up see what we can turn out of it um, this is about seven inches in diameter uh, about three and a half inches thick so we're going to uh, see what we can do it's got a little soft in there uh, I'm gonna try to do it I'm not gonna use any CA glue or anything like that just gonna see what happens with all these cracks maybe they'll turn out maybe they don't it doesn't matter we're going to see what we can do. We'll get it mounted up to the lathe and uh, we'll get to turning. Now I'm going to be mounting it this way because I'm going to get rid of the bar. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a live edge. Okay, so let's get it mounted up and then, uh, let's get started. All right, we got it mounted up. I'm going to be using a 5 inch bolt gal starting out. Let's get our face shield on. See what we can do with this thing. Be turning. Well. Starting at about 680 RPM. soft rock right in there. I'm going to make that as a tannin. hope it's not too soft. It may come flying off on us, but hey, that's part of it, right? Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and round these edges, make the whole thing round. Um, and then we'll get it turned over, put it on our chuck, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish it up. Might be able just to pull this mark off. Yeah. That way it doesn't fly off and hit the Oh, that's there. That's perfect. See so if we can get this side. Can't get that side off there. Let's see if we can see if we can knock it off. There's some other. Should have done this to begin with, huh? It hurts when it hits you.
pretty good. That's about the shape I want. It's dusty, dusty. That's some dry wood. I, I love turning green wood. It's not so dusty. Um, I'm going to sand this down. We'll get it turned around. Put it on the chuck. On the jaw chuck. And get the inside. Let me get it sanded down. I won't bore you with all of that. I'm going to start to... Uh, I'll start at a 60 grit on this and work my way up to about, probably about 300. Uh, and we'll get it turned around and we'll be right back. Okay, we got it turned around on the lathe, got this all sanded up. Uh, very, very smooth. I'll put finish on it when we get done. Let's turn it inside. Face shield on. Turn about. About and scrape it and then we are about done there there's a big there's a hole in it right there it must have been a worm i don't know if you can see it yet but i'll show you at the end if i don't get it scraped up there's a hole right there it must have been a worm in it but uh not much i can do with these tracks like i said i'm not using ca wood glue or anything like that leave it just like it is all right i'm gonna get the scraper and then uh scrape it out here and see what it turns to
Oh yeah. <clears throat> Looks very good. Ain't gonna take much sanding at all, but the hole's still there. I'll show you there in just a second. But I'm gonna get it sanded up, and we'll be right back. All right, I got the inside of it sanded out. This thing's as smooth as, smooth as that bed right there. It's as smooth as me. But all I'll do is I'm just gonna put some clear shellac on it, uh, let it dry, some sanding sealer. I back sand it in between times, probably put about three coats on it. Uh, so when all that dries, we'll come back and uh, see what it looks like. Okay? Okay, I got it all sanded. Um, got three coats of shellac on it. Got some uh, polishing paste. Uh, we're going to cut the tenon off of it and finish up the bottom. See what it turns out. That's okay. Didn't hurt anything. All right. So let me get this sanded off here, and uh, we'll be completed. birch bowl uh, turned out turned out really nice but that hole that I was telling you about when I was turning it is right here I don't know if you can see it in the camera looks like a catch but it's not it's a it's a <laughs> like a wormhole but the scraper didn't get it out I left it I like it it looks I love I love the wormholes and all the cracks in the wood that gives it to a good rustic look I love rustic looking looking stuff but there's the bowl. Um, turned out real well. Let's see it there. And of course, you just see me. I just stamped my Smoky Mountains on the back of it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give me that thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I uh, love reading all the comments, uh, whether they're good or bad. Uh, no professional at this, just enjoy doing it, love it. I uh, love watching all you other turners. Uh, it's just something I, something I do, and this is my hobby that I plan on doing when I fully retire, uh, which is not gonna be long. So, hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned. I try to post one every week, and uh, see if I can get my camera down here. see them these stickers here I do appreciate all the sticker swaps everybody uh, be sure to check out all these guys they do awesome work hope I got them all in there so but uh, okay thank you everybody hope everybody stay safe we'll see y'all in the next video thank you